We weren't the only ones dealing with dangerous heat today. Skyrocketing temperatures are causing a lot of problems out west. Here's meteorologist Dana Moranti. While we are dealing with our own sweaty summer weather here in Connecticut, the Pacific Northwest is just absolutely roasting. Over the weekend, dozens of weather stations reported their all-time highest temperature, including both Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington. Look at these numbers. Ridiculous. Hot. <laughs> it's very, very hot. Honestly, like this heat that's coming up is like insane. I've I've never experienced anything like it. My whole lifetime in Seattle, I've never seen anything like this. Now the heat feels a little extra brutal in Seattle because they are the least air conditioned major city in the country. Only around one third of buildings in Seattle has air conditioning compared to the nationwide average of 89%. Now because of that, many businesses have opted to shut down for a few days until some relief comes in. And not too far over our northern border in Canada, temperatures in British Columbia have jumped nearly 40 degrees above average high temperatures. In fact, on Sunday, just outside of Vancouver, the thermometer reading of 46.6 degrees Celsius, or 116 degrees Fahrenheit, marked the hottest temperature ever recorded in the country of Canada. So where do we go from here? Well, they are still scorching now with excessive heat warnings in effect, but temperatures will ease a little bit throughout the rest of this week into the 70s and 80s in a few days. At least some relief coming there. I'm Dan Amaranti. Now back to you.